When you've finished cleaning the tables, could you pop over the road and see if Mr. Gizzard has prepared the sausage meat, please, Morris? Yeah, yeah, do this, do that. What was that, Morris? Wasn't he rude to you? Look, I could have told him to go and stick his head in the sorbity air, I suppose, but everyone deserves a second chance, don't you think? Morning, morning. Hey, hey, it looks like someone's bought that old dance hall at the top of town. There are workmen in there with saws and hammers and things. Sausage me as requested. And by the way, looks like someone's bought that spooky old dance hall at last. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Oh, go and stick your head in the freezer. What was that, Morris? He said to go and stick your head in the freezer. I know what he said. I was giving him a second chance. That'll be his third chance. You're missing the chairs? What chairs? Those chairs? Bonjour! Let me introduce myself. I am Henri Mange too. How about you? And what do you call these? They're croissants, of course. If you want me to buy them, you will have to improve. You know so much about them. Why don't you make them yourself? I won't have time to make croissants. I will be running the restaurant. What restaurant? The one in the old dance hall at the top of town. I'm opening next week. Come, eat my food. See how good food should taste. Au revoir, mes amis. Well, birds never complained about my croissants. No, oh, indeed. They're very shapely. I smell trouble ahead. What, what do, do you mean? mean? Oh, nothing. And you better get some more dough on the go. Lionel Butternut, at your service. And I will be your local supplier of fresh fruit and veg, I trust. Let me have a look. Your shallots are too big. Your melons aren't round enough. <gasps> Don't you touch my melons. And look, you call this a courgette? That is a matter. Pah! Big is not always better, Mr. Butternut. You must come to my restaurant and enjoy real food. Au revoir. <laughs> you mark my words, he'll be in here soon enough, criticising everything. I don't know who he thinks he is. I need to see your chipolatas. Let me introduce myself. I'm Roland Gizzard, your friendly butcher. I don't believe we've met before. Do you have chipolatas? Of course we do. Just one moment. Here we are. They are a bit limp. More stuffing, please. You are too mean with this stuffing. Righty-ho. Length's all right, is it? Yes, standard. Now, tell me I can have them whenever I want them. Sorry, I only make them once a week. Once a week? From now on, you make them every day, even in your sleep. When you taste how I cook them, you won't bother with anything else. Trust me. Au revoir! So, what do you think of him then? Well, he'll never be my best mate, but I can see where he's coming from. OK, you put the chairs round the tables and I will fill my cupboards with the finest ingredients money can buy. Carry on. Monsieur Mange too. It's me, Tom Plum. Ah, Tom! Entree! What can I do for you? And uh, no need to call me by my full name. Chef will do nicely, thank you, uh, when you are in my restaurant. Certainly, Chef. I was wondering whether it would be at all possible to have a look around, see how the professionals do it. Just look at that. Nutmegs, cumin, spices galore. A cupboard full of heaven. Are you okay, Mr. Plum? Yes, I've never been more okay. Cook something, go on, cook something. Transport me to those far-off places. Tempt my tongue with tantalizing tastes. Stuff my nose with spicy smells. You really do like food, don't you? I adore it. It's my life. It's the first thing I think about when I get up in the morning, and the last thing I think of before I go to bed at night. I made 25 different chutneys last week alone. I have dough rising at this very moment, and tonight I'm going to experiment with dessert apples. Well, Mr. Plum, I think you could be of some use to me. I love chutney. We must have a chutney-tasting evening. Oh, music to my ears. When? When? Are you free tonight? Yes, yes. The apples can wait. I'll see you later, but keep it quiet. We don't want any interruptions, do we? This is real life. Chutney's at dawn. Make it 7.30. I have to be up early in the morning. Right, so it's one coconut pyramid and a fizzy drink, one hot chocolate, tea for two and a butter plate for that. I want one of those. So do I. OK, let's start again. Where have you been? We we'll run off our feet here. Shan't be a tick, Rita. Hold the fort, Morris. My goodness.
goodness. Oh. Where did all those come from? I made them last week. What do you think? How are we going to shift all that? What do we tell the customers? Sorry, no cakes today, just cheese and chutney. You want a scone with cream and jam, madam? Here's one with cream and chutney instead. Can't you even get a little bit excited about it? Don't you feel a thrill when you look at all those jars, labelled and lined up? No, there's a limit to what you can do with chutney. I tend to disagree. I'm going back to the customers and I shan't be pushing the chutney. No. No need. I have other plans. Dr. Onions, it's me, Tom. Yes, deep breaths. Okay, but it's the chutney. You know how I get with chutney. Have you met him yet? Oh, he's horrible. He criticised this, he criticised that. He even touched my melons. Actually, I thought he talked a lot of sense. Oh, do you know what I think? I think we should all go to his restaurant this evening and just see how marvellous this Henri Mongy toot really is. That could be interesting. Oh, look at the time. Just one more plate to go. I have to be somewhere at 7.30. I'm busy too, you know. I'm meeting someone at 8 o'clock and Bert and the twins will be wanting their supper before I go. Oh, for goodness sake, Mr Balloon, take your custard slice home with you and then we can all go home. Share it with Mrs Balloon and all the little balloons. At last. Catch, Morris. That'll come out of your wages, Morris. I'll tidy up. You get off home. All right. Well, thanks. We'll see you tomorrow, then. Oh, I haven't quite finished cleaning out the food processor. Fish mousse. Not to worry. I'll enjoy that. Will you? Oh, yes. Now, where's that food processor? I'm here, chef. And I've got the chutney. Prepare to be impressed. Come in, Tom. Remove all the lids. Find yourself a spoon and let's get stuck in. I have prepared wonderful things to taste with the chutneys. Oh, chef. This is perfection. Paradise on a trestle table. I brought my camcorder so that I could remember it forever. Come on, Rita. We've been waiting for you. It couldn't be helped, I'm afraid. We had a little bit of a catastrophe at home with the croissants. So what happened? You don't want to know, but I think I've got a winner in my bag. I shall produce it at the appropriate moment, and then we'll see what he's got to say. Have you seen him yet? No, we've been waiting for you. Now, come on. <laughs> I hope we're not interrupting anything, but we just happened to be passing by and heard all the laughing. Ah, yes, come in. We're tasting chutney. Have you met Tom's chutney? Rita, chutney, chutney, Rita. Oh, yes, I'm familiar with Tom's chutney, all right. It's fantastic. Try it. There's a chutney to suit everything. Amazing. Mmm, very impressive. Rita, what do you think? I don't see any cheese. So, Chef, what do you think of your new home and your new friends? Well, let me see. Ah, but wait. Just look at this. What do you think of this? If you ask me, you can't beat a good scone topped with homemade jam and clotted cream. Oh, don't get me started. The scone is too dense. <laughs> the jam is too sharp. And the cream... <laughs> Too rich! I must interrupt here and disagree. A scone is about as good as you can get. A scone you can have at any time of the day. With chutney, the opportunities are few and far between. You simply must have it with cheese. There is such a thing as a cheese scone, Rita. You could have chutney with a cheese scone. Brilliant! We will have a cheese scone evening next week. Same time, same place. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Teacher's pet. Not a bit of it. You either care what you eat or you don't care what you eat. And now I'm off to relive the whole evening on video and then I shall practice my quenelles. Swat. Oh, you're just cheesed off because Chef didn't say anything about your croissant. Why is everything food, food, food with you? Now you're exaggerating. You get off home and I'll see you in the morning when you might be a little less lemon-lipped. There you go again with the food. Off you go, or you'll have eyes like Rissoles in the snow tomorrow. I've had enough. Good night. Ah, alone at last. 
time to experience the whole sumptuous evening again. Roll VT. <laughs> well, I hope we're not interrupting anything, but we just happened to be oh. passing by and heard all the laughing. Ah, yes, come in. We're tasting chutney. Have you met a common chutney? Oh, Rita! Rita. Oh, I yes, wanted I chutney. 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 I must call Dr. Onions for a chat, and then I'll experiment with dessert apples.